Hello guys, here in Slack. I'm just making this quick video to, set, to give an idea how volume profiles relating to some of the FANG stocks. And basically, Facebook right here, right now, it is at the highest developing point of control for the year. Um, we are actually have a little bit higher value from the current price, but but basically we got overlapping value at the 161 area that uh, so far this year seems to be getting accepted down here. Now, um, the 170 area was last year's accepted value, so, or uh, 2017's accepted value, and then the 182 was last year's. So that gives you an idea if the markets do continue bullish, price should migrate between somewhere between the 171 to 182 area by year's end. So that gives you an idea from price targets on Facebook uh, where it should naturally migrate. And basically, we're, we are starting the, uh, we're in uh, wave five. So A, B, and we're getting a gap up this morning. And we are below the monthly value. So if, if the markets, which look solid here, it looks like we're going to finish the market possibly up here at the top of this range. So the 167 area to close our market out. And that is the highest developing uh, point, of, point of value if this market continues to have a bid under it. So just keep that in mind where we're at right now in the pre-market. Uh, the 167 area by month in. So you're looking at another uh, $4 move higher from, uh, well, a little over $4. $4.50 higher from where it's marking here in the pre-market session. Now, uh, if I go on the one hour, that gives you your weekly webs. As you can see, we are breaking out above last week's uh, value. And this is the buy zone for the prior week's value. And we found some responsive selling all last week at this price point. So just keep that in mind that... Uh, <laughs> Depending on the strength of the markets here, it does look like to me that uh, Facebook is trying to push to the top of this trend line now uh, for this week, the 167 area. So uh, I would not uh, be adding to the longs since it seems to be in price discovery to this uh, upside here. Okay. Netflix had the Oscars last night. So I think you're going to have a sustained bid under it today. And if you go out on your weekly first. Okay. And we'll zoom in a little bit here. So we can see what's going on here. Yeah, I got a lot of price action here. I'm sorry. A lot of uh, consolidation in my on my charts there. But it's just for the room, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, actually, uh, the true value would be 328 for uh, the, the true accepted value is still 328. So we're actually trying to resolve to the upside on a bullish note. I'm not overly bullish. Uh, this is the responsive yearly sell zone for uh, uh, Netflix. We are at a virgin point of control from way back in October. And it looks like in the pre-markets, we're the the 366.63 area, that would be the uh, price target, 365. Okay, yeah. So we're about uh, 70 cents from the virgin point of control from back in October. So basically, we're probably going to run another 70 cents today and find some resistance in, the, uh, uh, in that situation. And I, according to my wave counts, and I'm still learning these wave counts, of course, uh, this is the E wave, so this could be a powerful wave higher, uh, given my patterns. And uh, if you go back to your daily here, uh, the thing, the problem is the accepted values. You have to, there's only one other accepted value, and that was back in July of last year, to push prices. Uh, uh, the most uh, monthly value for the uh, uh, for the month, you know what I mean? And uh, so there was only one time frame. And I, I really do not like the earnings that came out from uh, Netflix. Now, given the news, and we'll see what the mo momentum goes, I, I'm thinking the best case is the 380-60 area. 
and then we start finding some responsive selling. And it's moving up on below average volume too, so I don't think it really supports a dramatic move to the upside. Okay, Amazon, like I've said on multiple times, I think it's ready. I think it's primed for a bigger move. You see you have a lot of value to the upside. I think our first uh, point would be the 316, 66, 70 area. And if we look in the pre-market, it wasn't really doing much pre-market so far, but you're at uh, 1641. So we're right here, right now in the pre-market, already testing this downward trend line on this uh, very good positive news. And uh, we are testing the top of last week's uh, uh, value area. So that's 70% of last week's uh, inventory. So we're already trying to push up and, and resolve higher in that situation. So it's a very bullish case for Amazon uh, setting up here um, going into the week. So just keep that in mind here. Um, I do love how the uh, uh, volume point of controls, that there are plenty of volume point of controls above uh, to support higher prices. Okay, and uh, so that's one of my primary themes here. I do think uh, by the end of the week, very possibly we could be it, uh, pushing the 1700 level if uh, these uh, retail sales do come out uh, supportive, which I do think that's what's going to happen. They're going to squeeze the retail this week. Um, Google, despite the fact I think they had the best earnings, they have not been performing very well. So I, I do want to about. Um, but if this market, uh, the, the, the market ma makers might actually wise up that uh, this is completely, totally uh, undervalued here. And the issue with Google is, uh, and I think what's been hindering it, the accepted point to do business is way down here at the 1052 area. So we don't have any type of historical build out value on our yearly to support the higher prices. So basically what we're going to have to do this year is build out higher prices and that's what's been hindering it from going higher in my opinion. Now we do have, uh, we're right at the uh, November volume point of control as of Friday and we do have um, a nice little gap down situation here on Google that happened la uh, last quarter. So I'm thinking what we're going to do here if this market is catching a bid, Google's going to be running up and back testing this trend line possibly by month end. So that'd be 1137 area that we could possibly get out of Google. Okay, so that is a pretty substantial percent move. And they can do that in one day given the expected moves. So just keep that in mind by, by week's end, uh, it's within the realm of the expected move. $24, that gets us almost all the way to that trend line if... Uh, these markets do continue to catch a bid. And so from 11.16, that'd be about 11.30, uh, 11.40, yeah. So I put this right to the trend line just by the expected move. This market does continue to catch a rally here. Um, so keep in mind, and that puts us all the way back to the July of Epoch. Okay, that's our next uh, target upside on our uh, volumes. So that, that's another one that I was really wanting to uh, talk about here. Netflix, Amazon, oh, Apple. I'll start finish with Apple because it's, uh, it's like uh, in my uh, weekend video, I was talking about Microsoft and, and Boeing, how they were using those to manipulate the markets. Well, Apple's another one that they use to manipulate the markets. Okay, and I, I saw a breakout starting as of Friday. It was trying to push out above this wedge. We're already at the 174 area. Uh, we're probably going to get another dollar move today. Retesting before the close, we are, we are going to be retesting this trend line for a potential trend breakout in uh, Apple. Uh, let's go back out in our weekly first before I really get into things. Uh, we do have a yearly value point of control at this price range, which has been hindering us from pushing out to the upside. But the primary trend, which I think Apple is wanting to ultimately seek, is the 185, basically 185 area on the primary uh, uptrend that I'm eyeing for Apple to the upside. And it's, it's another one that doesn't really have a whole lot of yearly 
value above so it has to literally catch them momentum so like google and apple because they don't have historical value higher they're the ones that I, i'm a little bit more concerned about versus uh, facebook or uh, uh, amazon okay so just keep that in mind uh, like i said we're gapping up right here we do have historical value at this price point okay see how, how we have historical value on the uh, weekly so that'd be three weeks ago we had value at this price point and now we actually are within the accepted move to uh, test that trend line and close the week out on this trend line. So that would be another uh, $1.50 to the upside by week's end, possibly today. Okay, that's all I got to say, and I will see you guys in the uh, trading room.